blessed day my people so it seemed like Jaffras have a few words for popcorn and it looked like this has stem half of the Usain Bolt thing what happened yesterday or yesterday or the day before well if you don't know me at all but I'm going to explain that to you as well but Beanie Man name also get called in the mix yes people Beanie Man also get this as well and is another dancehall artist this Beanie Man people and it have to deal with the whole popcorn and Usain Bolt thing now basically for those of you who don't know what going on Usain Bolt make a post on him Instagram page right because you know say Usain Bolt from a longer time him kind of dibble and double in the music thing right we see him put out about two or three rhythms I think one of them named Olympi Rose and I think one named Immortal but I believe there's one more rhythm if you don't know what name you can tell me in the comment section but yeah people we know say Usain Bolt have a love for music and him does a try out new things now basically make a post on him Instagram page a promote a song named Living the Dream with him and him artist named NJ and Popcorn go over there go make a post and him and say with all due respect legend him feel like um, Usain for those help some youth with real music talent so the song feature Usain Bolt tonight and NJ now when Popcorn said that now it a go look like him a diss him me myself even look pan it like a diss because maybe you could have just tell him personally when you put it out there it make it look like say yeah try tell the man what to do with them platform and them thing there you get me and sometimes you know people I just your approach make certain things not go the right way you know sometimes you have to know where you say to people especially a man like Usain Bolt where they're on a top of top level but anyway people we see Jaffras make a post now and a lot of persons are speculate say a popcorn in my top board me myself feel like a popcorn in my top board so I'm going to show it and uh, who can tell me where you think about it I remember say Jaffras and popcorn are in a no dealings in a zine remember them used to par you know I'm not sure if Jaffras was a part of the unruly camp but me know say some falling out did go on with popcorn not nice Jaffras and thing I get what I say people but anyway, Jaffras put up this and him say, them who see the bad mind from them born. And him also go on for say one word nation. And then him say, bad mind boy, on a too jealous. So of course, you know, say people are going to say, no man, look like him a throw some shades off a popcorn. And it looked that way the people. Because you know, in a Jamaica, when they say certain things, one of the quickest things for people to say about you, you know, say a bad mind, you know. If you tell a man something, sometimes it can be constructive criticism, you know. But people are going to say you're too bad mind. Lord, the man make him do him one, though. Yes, a bad mind. So of course, you can see why some people feel like, say, Jaffras at all about popcorn. And obviously, you know, so they're not in a dealings, none at all. So that even make people a speculate even more. So when you think people, you know, feel like say, popcorn him at all about, I say, yo, you're too bad, man. Leave you seeing Bolt alone, basically, and make him do what him want to do. A theme platform. That's the thing what I have to agree with still, you know. You seeing Bolt work hard theme platform. So if you want dibble and dabble in night, nothing really wrong with that. You see me? The man still young. What do you see him go so bops and try out in a football? We see it not really work out for him. So he might do him little music thing and him little producing. Remember, say, this might just be fun for him, you know. So what for just watch and see if he might go get a hit out of it. If he might go just sit back and just do straight producing hour. You get my people? But you see him has not responded to popcorn unless him do it behind the scenes but I feel like so because popcorn come out and say what him say upon the internet basically for make everybody say I feel like Usain Bolt would have probably respond that way there him now go call him and say yo brother what kind of post that you make on this and that and you understand and then again Usain Bolt is not really one of them type of person if you go off on the internet and thing we see various people try to style him and it not really work out you get my people but let me know where you think about this now we are going to move on to our being man name get thrown at the mix so as me said a post they put up on thing everybody I give them opinion so me see a dancehall artist is not really a big artist till him go by the name of stomach grammar or something like that and him said this in the comment section with all due respect the man can give strength to whoever him want to how many artists in the industry beanie calf busy calf we never bust no youth round here Bossing artists are dance all artists' responsibility, not an athlete. So when you think about that, people, Stamagrama say, yo, the man can give a strength to who he wants give a strength to. Only not agree with that. And the man also go on for say, being a man boss no artist, and him a artist, you know, right? A long time we always hear say, being a man now boss the youths, them, you know. Members say a killer boss the most youths around here, you know. Vibes cartel. That's why I always talk about it in a mini video. The amount of time I say that. You get my people? Busy signal. Him no boss nobody as well. I can agree to that. And to be honest, the only person who I can think of who bounty killer boss, who boss other people, a vibes cartel. I can think of nobody else. And look how much people bounty killer boss. You understand? So at the end of the day still, I agree with what stomach grandma say. But of course, I know some people over there are different popcorn. Like me see even Kiva 
When I remember Kiva we used to dance, I think she used to dance with Bogle and Janite them. Yeah man, she said one thing with some people, them read without understanding. The man basically I see a lot of talented young artists outside need the help. Nothing is wrong with that. He's saying JA full of millions of ghetto youths who need that extra push for real. Um so I guess you can look upon it that way as well. But I just the way how Popcorn go about it and Popcorn even respond because of course you know so a lot of persons start bashing and say this and that. And Popcorn actually respond with a pussy and say, I don't say what I say and me no BC, sorry. So when I say Popcorn, you know him a stick with what he basically. You know him now go say sorry to Usain Bolt or maybe some people are say, yo dog, if it is the general, so go and go apologize. You know say Popcorn is not the type of artist where I go say, yo my boss, me sorry, you know. Whether it be Usain Bolt or not, you get me? When you can't ever show me a video with Popcorn and apologize to no artist, I want to know some more time him and artist fall out. Remember, him and all being him and did fall out in the past. We don't we see no sorry go on there, so, but yet still we see the two of them talk and thing. You understand them good, you know? So hopefully Usain Bolt not take this and vex or nothing, but I feel like him probably been about the situation. That's just what me personally feel, people, you get me? But let me know where you think about this in the comment section now. Uh, who who not rock with in a, this situation? Popcorn will say Usain Bolt for low music and give the other youths them a chance. And even the youth named NJ, they must say him for low music as well. Um, I agree with that. I listen to the song with Usain Bolt and NJ do. I don't feel like say yo, you see in bold can you know if him want to get whatever strength him do it. You get me him not have to necessarily work with no ghetto youth or no uptown youth. Whoever him feel like him want to work with internationally or locally, a film business that. I'm gonna let you know with a video with major hype. Basically a breakdown and thing people, you see me? And it look like some little things are going behind the scene and him just a come out now and I make the public know. That way, if anything happen, I guess it is documented. You get what I say? Not saying anything will happen, you know, people, but look like him life is being threatened and all of them things there. And, you know, him live with him kids them. So, him say, if him life I get threatened and people I say, yo, I know where you live, then, of course, you know, say, him kids are going to get affected as well. So, him come out and him put out a video. I'm going to leave, you know, with that. You can't make me know where you think about it. But, John you know, star. From when me I listen still in the video, it look like a Kirby X man or whatever. Look like a him has sent out certain words to um to major hype. You see me? Like maybe my carry woman feelings or whatever. But anyway, people, I'm gonna leave the video as me say when you go and big up on yourself, tell me where you think about it, and just bless up on yourself. And remember to hit that subscribe button, turn on the notification bell, and just share the video. You see me, people? Bless up on yourself once again. I'm out. I I, I I've been going to a really, really, really difficult time in my life. This, and I'm, and, and, and to be honest with you, this has been maybe one of the most difficult times that I've, I've had to endure. Right? But um, I also, I also promised. Myself, my family, and my fans that I would never speak on the previous situation that has taken place in my life. I, I addressed it once, and I promised myself that I would never address it again. Um... And that's exactly what I planned on never doing. But when my life is being threatened, I have no choice but to come and talk about the situation. Because I'm not, I'm not the person who walks around starting trouble. I'm not the type of person that, you know, wish bad on anybody. I'm not the type of person that seeks problems with anybody, right? But when you threaten my life and you threaten my kid's life, that's where things get serious at. That's where, that's where things get serious at. When... When you start mentioning that you know where I reside 
which is where my kids reside as well. When you start putting that in danger, I got to speak on that situation. And the only reason why I came on Instagram to talk about it is because I want it to be documented. I want it to be documented because I'm going to leave this I'm I'm going to leave this post up. Don't worry about the police because every every corner and every rock has been unturned, has been turned. You understand what I'm saying? The necessary actions that I have to take for death threats and people giving out my address and stuff like that has been done already. I just got back in the house. I just did what I had to do and report what I had to report so that so that I'm 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 secure with what the actions need to be. Now and I'm not going to make this a long live because I, like I said I just want to document that, I, that that this is what's being 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 done. And I'm not going to call any names either because I'm never going to give you that satisfaction. I'm never going to give you that satisfaction. I'm never going to call your name because you are fame and a clout chaser. And that's all you want. That's all you want is for me to call your name and for me to, 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 to shed some light on the little, the little thing that you are. But I will say this to you. You ran, you won the battle. You won the battle. You won. You got your girl back. You won. You got your girl back, bro. You got your girl back. The girl when you was 30 years old and you was having sex with her at 15, the girl that you manipulated and made it made her your sex slave and all of this shit. You got her back. You got her back. So why are you still calling up my name? Why are you still making me a topic in your world? You won. You won. You won. You got her back. Why, why is my name still being called up and being, and I'm being threatened and I'm being, and I'm being, and I'm being ridiculed and all, why, why is that still happening? I backed up, I backed up and let y'all do y'all. Because you and I both know where them tapes is coming from. We both know, we both know where it's coming from. See, you can manipulate those people, but you ain't gonna never manipulate me. Never. Never. You understand what I'm saying? But I just wanna know why is my name still being called up? That's all I wanna know. Why is my name being called up? Why? You won the battle, fam. You got your you got your slave, sex slave back. You 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 doing what you do. You y'all having a good time. I'm happy for y'all. I'm ab uh, to to be to be to be to be to be a hundred a hundred percent transparent. I'm happy for y'all. I'm happy for y'all on some real nigga shit. I'm happy for y'all. I'm glad y'all found y'all way back to each other. I'm glad y'all found y'all way. With all the manipulation and all of that going on, it's cool. It's cool. But when you threaten where my kids reside at, when you threaten that, because to be honest with you, the only person that really got much to lose in this situation is me. So I got to take the necessary precautions to deal with it. So like I said, I'm not on here for no, for no validation from nobody. I'm not on here for sympathy from nobody. 
I'm here to document what I'm talking about. That's what I'm here for. That and that purpose only. That and that purpose only. That's the only reason why I'm on live right now. Just to document what I just went had, had to take care of and document within other places. You get what I'm saying? But I'm happy for y'all. So why not leave my leave me and my children alone? That's all I'm asking. Leave me and my chi and my children alone. They went through enough. They went through enough. They've been through enough. They've seen enough. They've been through enough. They 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 they, they, they deserve peace right now. They deserve peace. So. Why is my name still coming up? It's a simple question. You text me. You you jumped in my DM. Yo, I don't wish this on nobody, fam. And if you think I have anything to do with this, then I'm a part in me and all of this shit that you said. And I said, bless up. Even though you responsible for helping fuck up my relationship and my family, I still said bless up because that's the type of person I am. I don't wish bad on nobody because whatever is due to you, you it, it, it's, God is in control of that. God is in control of all of that. So so, so I'm not wishing bad on you or, or nobody else. So why a whole two months pass, the situation is, 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 is basically within courts and all of that other stuff. And I'm still hearing my name in the streets. Now, 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 now y'all wanted to go from social media to street shit. Now y'all want the, 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 the Bacchanal and all the, and all the comments and all the, all of that shit. Y'all wanted to go from social media to the streets. I don't want no beef with nobody. I don't want no beef with nobody. I don't need no problems with nobody because I, like I said, I got a career. I got shit to lose. I got a family. I got, I got my kids. That's the most important thing to me. You understand what I'm saying? I don't want no problems with nobody. Y'all won. Y'all got y'all. Y'all got what y'all want back. You got your old thing back, bro. So why is you calling up my name on on on, on platforms and, and, and why, why for what? For what? Every day I get up, it's a new story. A bunch of lies and a bunch of shit that. Oh, he called this one and he said this and he said that. Like, bro, I have no purpose in life to talk about you or anybody else surrounded around you. I have no reason in life to mention your name within my space. So you 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 good, bro. You got your you got your slave your sex slave back. Do your thing and leave me alone and my family alone. It's that simple. Leave me and my kids alone. That's all I'm asking. I don't want no beef with nobody. I don't want no problems with nobody. I don't want no, I don't want no stress from nobody. I'm good. I'm chilling. So please, I'm just begging. Just leave me alone, please. You won. You did your thing. You got her back. I'm, I'm proud and I'm happy for y'all. Just leave me alone. Just leave me alone. It's that simple. I'm not talking about y'all. I'm not, I'm not conversing with y'all. I'm not reaching out to nobody. I'm not, none of that. It's that simple. And like I said, shout to everybody who, who knows me and, and is in my corner. I see, I, I see what y'all are saying and I see y'all y'all, y'all, y'all comments, but this needs to happen. This needs to happen. 
because I'm tired. I'm drained. I'm tired. You understand what I'm saying? I'm tired of this. I'm tired. I had enough. Like, just let me. I just want to live my life. That's it. That's it. All right? That's all I want. I just want to live my life. And move on from all of this. That's all I want. 